Okay, today we're going to do a video on aligning the linear rails for the x-axis. Now, because these carry the two x-axis carriages, they need to be parallel. Now, it's important that they be straight with respect to the uh, extrusion, but it's most important that they be parallel to each other because tiny things like it not being exactly in the middle or, uh, or, or other issues will be calibrated out by the uh, end stops. So what you do is you start by loosening up the lead screw and the linear rail so that the linear rail can move just a little bit. It's not completely fastened down. You want it to be a little tight because you don't want it completely wobbling around on you during the job, but it should be loose, you know, maybe finger tight uh, with, with your Allen key. So you start by taking the screws at each end and you move the carriage down because this acts as a fixed length along this extrusion and between these two carriages. And once it's moved down to one end, you can tighten the screws at that end. They're now fixed at the distance determined by the length of the y-axis carriage. So once you've got that tightened, not super tightened, but a little you know, harder than finger tightened using the long end, you can move the carriage up a bit. And this, of course, as it moves along, pulls the linear rail straight. So once you're past the next set of screws in your linear rail, you can tighten them up too. Again, not excessively, but more than finger tighten them. Enough to hold them in place. And you simply repeat the process past each few sets of screws. This ensures that uh, the length between the two linear rails is constant because if it's not constant, then as the Y carriage moves up and down the X rails, di differences in distance between the X rails will apply force on the carriages riding on the rails and that'll increase the friction because of course friction is proportional to the force normal to the rail. And from here on out, it's really quite simple. You just repeat the process until you're nearly to the end. You will, at the end, want to switch sides, which side of the carriage you're tightening on. Instead of tightening behind it, you'll tighten in front of it, because obviously you can't tighten the thread with any of these screws while it's under the carriage. Once you're done, you can give it a simple test by pushing the carriage down the rails. If there's any tight spots, that's a good place to loosen some screws and let the rails move around and just move the carriage over them. This time there weren't any, so it's not a difficulty. But uh, if there's a tight spot on a particular section of your x-axis carriage, it's a good bet that it's an issue with the rails being too far apart or too close together and pressing on, on the bearing chases in the, in the slides. <coughs> 